ancient evil stirs in the black lands of Mordor, and the people of Middle-earth speak of a terrible doom approaching from the east. The Dark Lord Sauron is gathering his forces, and should he acquire the power he seeks, he will cast the world into eternal shadow. The only hope lies in a heroic few, who must work together to stem the tide of evil. The Lord of the Rings, the card game, puts one or two players, or up to four with two core sets, in control of the most powerful characters and artifacts of Middle-earth. Players will select heroes, gather allies, acquire artifacts, and coordinate their efforts to face Middle-earth's most dangerous fiends. The Lord of the Rings, the card game, is also a living card game, and the enjoyment and experience of the game can be customized and enhanced through the purchase of regularly released 60-card expansions called Adventure Packs. Each Adventure Pack provides players with new options and strategies for their decks, as well as an entirely new scenario to play against. Unlike most card games where players compete against each other, The Lord of the Rings The Card Game is a cooperative game where players work together, competing against a scenario that is run automatically by the game. In each game, the players attempt to overcome the particular encounters, enemies, and challenges of a scenario, which they will either win or lose together. Additionally, the Lord of the Rings the card game can be played entirely solo for a satisfying single-player experience. This gives players the option of constructing a deck and trying it out during a fully solitaire game, all in one convenient play session. The core set of the Lord of the Rings the card game features 226 cards, four starter decks, three scenarios, and 84 encounter cards for the players to compete against. Threat trackers are used to track a player's threat level throughout the game. Threat represents the level of risk a player has taken on during a scenario. If a player's threat level reaches 50, that player is eliminated from the game. Damage tokens represent physical damage that has been inflicted on characters and enemies. Progress tokens represent progress that has been made on a quest. Resource tokens are collected by a player's heroes and are used throughout the game to pay for cards and card effects. The first player token determines which player acts first each phase. At the end of each round, the first player token passes clockwise to a new player. In each game of The Lord of the Rings The Card Game, players begin by choosing a scenario and then work together in an attempt to complete it. A scenario is completed by successfully moving through all stages of the quest deck. During a scenario, the encounter deck aims to harm the heroes and to raise each player's threat level. A player is eliminated from the game if all of his heroes are destroyed or if his threat level reaches 50. If all players are eliminated from the game, the players have lost. If at least one player survives and completes the final stage of the quest deck, all players are victorious.